Okay, triad tricks for lead guitar. The one, four, five is your best friend. The more acquainted you are with it, the better. So we're gonna start with an A triad, A, C sharp, E. Actually, doing it in reverse is very helpful because you often see 5 4 1 progressions. And of course, in the minor. Of course, you're arpeggiating these, you're adding color tones, you're doing your hammer on, you're breaking them up melodically. You're pulling thirds, parallel runs and thirds and fourths, anything that you can think of melodically out of those, but those are just your, your bases. Now switch to this A on the next string group, which I call string group two. Someday everybody will. Okay, here we go. So A, D, Okay. Um, diatonic series are very vanilla and kind of dull sounding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're also the meat and potatoes of so much music. So um, you know the series well. Major, minor, minor. And the nice thing is you get to use your diminish on seven. A is kind of tough, but you get the, the gist. Uh, take a D chord and do the same thing. Take the A chord and do it major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminish, which is a bit annoying. Do that with the next string group as well, using your A as a one, your kind of C shape thing as a one, and then your F shape thing as a one. Uh, those are extremely useful. And by the way, the most useful thing after you've practiced this crap for half hour, 45 minutes, is just to pick up random chord charts. And I, you could, I can send you all my chord charts if you want. I can just send you like a um, Dropbox link to hundreds of chord charts. And pick a new one every day or every other day. And just, even a song you've never heard. And just play the changes. That's how you get really fucking good at just flowing through these things fast. Is by reading charts. Um, and it's fun. So, the last thing that we did was getting a little bit nerdy. So that means the diminished chords, but also the uh, sacrificial fifth. So take any triad you know, and make sure you can make a diminished chord out of it. So that's A diminished, A major, A diminished. Diminished adds a flat three and a flat five. Those are the two really, really crucial blue notes. And that's why it sounds so bluesy. Okay, go up to the next A, do the same thing. And this A is a little funky. Okay, do the same thing here. That one's great because if you go from the flat finger A, you just land on like a D shape. We've been using that in your, like I feel good and all those like funk arrangements I made for you. Okay, next A. It's a stretchy. And this is quite comfortable. Okay, but more importantly was that sort of nerdy sacrificial fifth exercise I gave you. I love this because every time you get to a dominant seventh, it resolves to its natural one. And then you see how the five one relationship plays out along the fretboard. And you hear it, you see it, um, and it just sounds cool. So you take your pride, whatever it is, and then the fifth goes chromatically. Music theory is called this escaped fifth. It's escaping. Now you have a dominant seventh, which is off to D. And I like to kind of linger here and listen and feel that 5 to 1 sound. And repeat. Sharp 5, major 6, 
dominant 7, which is a D7 going to G. Okay, now the 5th is in the lowest voice. Excuse me. Okay, this is a nice G7 resolving to C. This is a trick I didn't show you. Every time I get to a C chord in my nerdy guitar exercises, I change to a B. Because the C is going to take me to all the flat keys. If I do a C7, I got to go to F, F7 takes me to B flat. I don't want to go there. That's piano player shit. I want to go C and then just go chromatically down to B. And then you can do this exercise basically infinitely. Because of your B7, of course, you're back at the triad you started with. And it'll take you to E. E augmented, E6, E7, C again, and what do I do? I go to B. That way, you get in this what I call the big five keys to cycling through the guitar, the guitar uh, keys that really, really matter. Do the same thing with string group two, uh, and if you do this thing.